Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dan here, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a really quick video, okay? It is going to be on the top five tips for going on a ferry. It's aimed more at new people what have not been on one before, or the people what are taking sports equipment abroad like paramotors, okay? So just to paint the scene, I've recently come back from France, um, got on in Portsmouth, um, Brittany Ferry over to Cannes and drove all the way up to the south of France and back um, first time on a ferry so let's cut to the chase and let's get to the five things that you should know okay I've got it written down on my phone so I will forget he says phone's not working typical there we go right first one okay you've got different rooms you've got the standard room okay and then you've got the um, the common door suite or common door room okay there is a massive massive difference what I'll do is I'll show you some footage now Check it out, you'll see the difference between both, okay? And the price difference, if you book in advance, it isn't that big, so it's well worth doing. Check out the footage, let me know what you think. So, ladies and gentlemen, the room I'm in now, or cabin I'm in now, is the Commodore class cabin. I'll show you on really quickly, there's loads of these videos on YouTube, I just want to compare it to the standard issue cabin, which you will see in a second. I'd like to apologise now, I look horrific in that video. It is, um, been a long night, didn't get much sleep, and the sea was quite rough. Okay, so let me show you around very, very quickly. So first of all, you've got your tea and your kettle and your stuff. You don't get this in a standard cabin. Got a bin in my fridge. Everything inside is included. You've got your Pepsi Max, you've got your juices, your water, your fizzy water, and you've got bowls of fruit if you fancy it. And some nice cold glasses. How very sophisticated. Got your DVD player, because everyone takes a DVD with them. Uh, pen in a wrapper. Love a good pen in a wrapper. List of channels. TV, there's a channel where you can see where you, where you are, reminds me of cruising. Um, a few big windows which is quite nice, not so much at night because there is nothing to see. Got your two beds, um, I think they're the same size as the standard room but I could be wrong there. There is um, there are these little macarons, macaroons, I don't know how you say it. Again complimentary so make sure you get them in your bag for a cheeky five finger discount. What you do get is you get your breakfast in the morning. So you can have a full English breakfast served in the restaurant or a continental breakfast um, brought to your room by the staff, which is pretty cool. Um, bathroom, got a little porthole going in here then. Obviously you've got your you've got your mirrors, you've got all your your products like your body lotion and your shampoos. So um, again, if you're not gonna use them, take them home, treat yourself. Got your towels, don't nick the towels guys, that's too far. Um, Oh, sugar. Apologies. My massive arms. So, shower. Looks a lot more comfortable and cosy and clean as opposed to the, the normal rooms. And then in here, got your lavatory, got your toilet. Shut the door when you've done. And that is pretty much it, folks. Okay. So what you will see next is the standard room. Okay, again, apologies, I look horrific. Um, been a really rough night. Morning ladies and gents, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm stuck up. Uh, I've woke up. I've got to go up my car in about 10 minutes. Um, I haven't got a clue where we are, I assume we're nearly there. Just um, having a goose outside, as you can see, there is not a great deal going on. This is my room. Uh, bonjour mesdames et messieurs. Bathroom's in there. Okay, massive difference there as you can see. I would go Commodore all day long, loads of freebies, just much more luxury. You're nice and refreshed when you get to the other end, especially if you've got a long drive. Okay, so that was the first one. Second one. Bring snacks with you, especially if you're doing an overnight crossing. A lot of the places you can get food will be closed. The places that are open are very, very expensive, okay? I don't know whether that's me just being a bit tight, being a bit stingy, but it costs a lot of money, okay? I had fish and chips. It wasn't the best, and it cost me about 13 quid. Um, if you have a couple of drinks as well, it's going to rack up. So just bring your own. Just bring your own food with you. Save you a couple of quid. Third one, 
don't put anything on the back of your car what's expensive or on the roof what's expensive okay I took my paramotor about six thousand six and a half thousand pounds worth of equipment I was going to leave it built up on the back of the car and I'm so glad I didn't two reasons first of all is if you leave it on the back of your car you take your car onto the ferry all the doors get locked and it's left there so if anyone tampers with it you won't know and you won't be able to get to it till the next day or when the ferry when the ferry's about to to dock in port okay that's one reason the other reason on the way back from Khan to the UK my car was at the very front of the ship and it was just getting sprayed by salt water all night you don't want that on kit what costs a lot of money so this has got absolutely everything in it um, obviously I've drained the fuel and what I've put in is I've put in a few of these a few of these um, like Lenore dryer sheets so basically so it smells nice so what you don't want to do is go through security and your car absolutely fucking stink of petrol number four book in advance okay I booked about a week before leaving and it cost me 550 quid there and back then I came back earlier did an upgrade and then upgraded from the standard room to the common door okay so book in advance and you can save an absolute fortune. All right, means you get to go away more times in the year. Result. Hello, I like money. Last one, five, okay? There is lots of waiting around, okay? Once you get through security and you go through whatever, you, they check your passport, they give you your little, your little ticket to put in your rear view mirror, hang it off there, okay? You're waiting for hours, okay? Not the end of the world, but bring a book, bring a Kindle, and you're taking kids, take something for them, otherwise they're going to get on your nerves. Last one is a bonus one, okay, it's a bit of a given but we're going to go over it anyway. Expect security and border force to ask lots of questions, okay. Leaving the UK to France, arriving in France and going from France back to the UK, I got stopped by border force and security. They checked my car every single time. They wanted to have a look round. They asked lots of questions. They also wanted to see paperwork to show the car was mine, a V5C if I had one, proof of insurance. They wanted to know what was in the big box at the back of my car, which was obviously the paramotor. They will ask a lot, but they're just doing the job. So don't get shirty with them. Just expect it, play the game, guys, and get yourself there and back safe without being arrested. Shocking picture, isn't it? I don't think anyone can go for it, to be fair. Everyone comes in like, don't look at the photo, and I'm like, that's my job. You've got to, yeah. Photo. If you pop that in your rear view mirror for us, we're going to have to take it forward. Spot on, thank you. Perfect, and there's your passport and your cabin key just on the top Perfect. of the Perfect, thank you very much, cheers. That's it, easy, done. Very quick, top five and a bonus. Like, follow, subscribe, give me a thumbs up down below. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.